<laughs> hey guys, it's Safe May Rain. You're looking awesome and beautiful today. Welcome back to Minecraft and Stay Alive series. Where, if you guys haven't seen, I now got a skin and look at my big pants. Oh snap! I am rolling, man. This is just too much fun. Okay, uh, in this episode, we are going to try and get iron. But more importantly than that, we are going to show you guys. And I say we because we're all we're all a family in this, guys. In the comments, you guys have been so cool, really getting involved, and this is totally, you're totally invested, man. Totally invested. You're in, man. You are just in, dude. Okay. Uh, yes, anyways, we are going to, of course, go straight down and try and get iron. Now, yes, we have not talked a lot about cave, uh, cave exploring, cave anything, so uh, we're going to take this extremely slow, man. You are have the most chance the odds are not in your favor at all when you are down in the cave there's so many things down there that will try and kill you that you need to just be super careful super careful we do have uh, a lot of our torches and we do have uh our nice our nice iron sword um and we do have what else do we have we do have what else do you need I guess, well, I guess you didn't need an apple. I should have actually cut this down a little bit, because I, either way, you should have, should have went through my inventory a little better, but, 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 we just have our courage, and that's what we need, man. We need our courage. You know, courage, courage. All right, guys, so, when you just come in on a big cave, you have to ask yourself one question. Where are the bad guys? And of course, we see one. Choke points are good. See how I let this choke point happen? And of course he hits me because I suck at this game. Just kidding. I'm okay. Uh, we're going to wait. We're going to see what comes out. See what comes at us. Just just seeing. And yes, I know it's dark, guys. Okay. We're good. We're good. So, torches. Very important to not get lost in caves. It's so easy to just get lost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put torches on one side of the cave. Now, preferably, I'm doing it on the right side. So, when I'm just entering somewhere, so sorry guys, mic mic problems. Uh, obviously, when I leave, when I leave this here, this means that this hasn't been. Uh, I haven't come back on this side yet, which is it, it'll make sense once I start doing it. So right now, I'm hugging the right side and only putting torches on the right. Side. I know it's easy to put torches everywhere, but I'm doing this very slowly. So now watch, when I turn around to run from this zombie, I have torches on one side, which is on my left side. So if I come into this place and not understand where I am, I have torches on one side. If that makes any sense at all. Oh, there's definitely stuff down there. I'm gonna take you out, buddy. Boom! Oh, sick! That was awesome! Oh, that was so cool. Of course, you're still being careful. Still being careful. Still being careful. See how easy you can get, just get lost down here? Oh, guys. Guys, so easy. And see how I'm using this as a vantage point? So you can hit through, hit through this. Yeah, blow up. Blow each other up. I didn't get him yet. He's gonna blow up soon. Boom. And there goes my torch. Awesome. Awesome. Just getting resources. Just getting resources. Just getting resources. Everything's okay. You guys still with me? So right now, this torch is the farthest I've gone. If I look over there, it's still light, but it's probably from lava. You need to know which your light source is coming from. Either it's from torches or it's from lava. So right on, going around the right side, around the right side. Boom, and it looks like those both caves connect, but I haven't been over there, and I'm not gonna assume that I have. Yes, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, bruh? I was gonna archer him, but... Oh, nice, I can get that iron. Please blow up over there. Not so close to me. Blow up over there. Blow up over there. Oh, or die. Not fun. So we got some iron. Got some iron. Yes. Ooh, it's a pretty big chain. Usually it's about five, probably. Let's check. Let's check. I think it's five. But of course it'll be like 27, and you guys will see it, and I won't, so. You'll be like, dude, that chain went on for like ever, man. And I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't see anything. Jeez, the wheeze. Okay. Do have a little more coal. Might as well grab some of it while I can. That experience points and the coal is just good to have. But see how I'm blind right now? I don't know what's coming over here. So you really have to be careful when you're you're doing anything. 
just know that you're not out in the open. This is just twice, twice as worse. So we're just doing fine. We're just doing fine. Drink some water, which doesn't have ice in it this time. Still a little chilly though. I like it. I like it. We have bats, which aren't fun. Oh, right. lots of bats. Ooh, lots of bats. Yeah, burn in the fire. Burn in the fire, bat. Zoo bats. Uh, see how this lava is lighting up this entire room? That doesn't necessarily mean that you've searched it. So you remember, so right side. So ready? Putting it on the right side. Even though it's lit by this lava, you're still using your your torches to track. Now, lava is dangerous. You don't want to touch lava. So what you can easily do is equip it. Uh, equipped, uh, not lava, equipped uh, any kind of resource. I usually use just cobblestone, just have the most of it. And kind of just kind of stop the source of lava so you don't just fall in it. So now I can turn this way and easily just run over here and not uh, be in risk at running into this lava because that is bad. That is very bad. See, if he was chasing me and I like was backing up and just fell in there, that would not be good. And of course, he's gonna blow up my entire thing I just made. Gosh, gosh, my day is going just excellent so far. Excellent so far. What did happen? Something, oh, I ran out of shampoo in the shower. Oh, it was the worst, it was the worst. It's the worst when you're actually in the shower and then it's like, wait, the last time I tried to wash my hair, I was using all the shampoo, and now it's like, I have no shampoo. You guys know how much I love my hair. Of course, yes, make fun of my haircut. Yeah, I know, it's short, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, there's iron over here. Okay, remember, right side, right side, right side. Yes, and remember, vantage points. T Creeper could drop straight down on me, easily. What is that, what is that? We'll go over there, check that later. Okay, I think we're good. Remember, always scout, always scout, always be scouting. And there's also stuff down there. And if you remember from my earlier episodes, that was a very good example of stuff falling on you. That's why I said always dig in directions. And I don't know what's down there, but anything that is deeper is where there's gonna be more stuff. And that's just everything, man. The deeper you go, the more odds you'll find redstone and possibly diamond when you get way, way deep. Uh, I'm gonna explore over here for a sec. I'm just gonna start putting these over here. And of course I'm gonna get probably shot a few times. Oh, there's a creeper over there. So I'm gonna leave that torch and that is gonna be as far as I will go. Because I got enough iron to make some more armor. And remember, oh, what? where am I? Oh, I didn't go, I didn't go this way because I don't see any torches. See, see torches, see torches. Oh, and I'm getting hit by arrows. Uh, see torches, they're on my left side. So which means I need to go this way. Let me just wreck you out first, man. If that creeper's behind you, I'll be upset. I'll be very upset if that creeper's behind you. Nope. He's gone. He's good. He's good. Looking up here, because iron could be anywhere. And of course, you guys saw it all. And I didn't see anything. You guys are like, dude, iron was right there, bro. And I'm like, uh, I didn't see it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I would have saw the iron, I probably would have picked it up. That's, uh, that's one of my characters. I don't know what I will name him yet. Probably Jimmy, because Jimmy is the go-to kid name that I use. So that is it. That is the Jimmy voice, which I'll try and use more. Okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna get this iron going. Oh yeah, get a little more fuel in there. Oh, and get that cooking. So the next time we play, we'll have some nice, nice iron ingots for the next time. Up oh, we throw down, and of course random stuff in there. Rotten flesh is, uh, we can talk about that right now. Rotten flesh, you can eat it. Yes, you can. It will recover your health, but you could get poisoned. So it's not really, really worth it. And of course I'm hurt. Remember, this is the Stay Alive series where we don't die. And of course I'm just gonna die from starvation. Alrighty guys, yeah, look, that's cooking. Hey, thanks guys for watching. Of course, like, comment. Uh, what do you guys wanna, uh, I can give you guys something to talk about. Uh, yeah, uh, we t how do you guys get through caves? I mean, am I doing the wrong thing? I, I did mention that I needed to pack better, but I don't know what you really necessarily need when you go down in caves. So if I need anything else, please let me know. Of course, smack that like button. Really helps out my channel. Of course, subscribe. Also, really shows me that you guys care, and hope I'll see you once again.